Hey there, my name is Andrew from George's Cameras and today we're just gonna do a quick video to help you understand your camera so you can take better looking photos. There are three main variables that you need to consider when shooting a photo and this is a part of a concept called the exposure triangle. The three variables are the aperture, shutter speed and finally the ISO. The first variable is aperture and that controls the amount of light that enters your camera via your lens. In addition, the aperture also controls depth of field, which basically just means that how much of your image will be in sharp focus. For example, if you shoot at a shallow depth of field at an f-stop value of 1.8, your subject will be in sharp focus but the rest of the photo will be blurred out. Vice versa, if you were shooting at a deeper depth of field of f8 or f11 for a landscape photo where you want everything in focus, your photo will basically look sharp throughout the frame. The second variable is shutter speed and this is literally how fast the shutter curtain moves in your camera. Now shutter speed controls how much light enters your camera via the shutter curtain but it also controls how it captures motion too. When you're shooting at a fast shutter speed, you'll be able to freeze motion. So for sports or even taking any kind of photos of action, you'll be able to stop time. Now secondly, if you were to shoot at a slower shutter speed, it will capture motion blur and it will also allow more light into your camera. In terms of motion blur, it will capture every single bit of your frame in nice smooth motion. For example, if you're shooting a car on a highway, you'll be able to capture the brake lights or the headlights running through the scene. The final variable is ISO, and this is basically how sensitive your camera is to the light source that you've let in via your lens and the shutter speed. Shooting at lower ISOs will basically mean your camera is not as sensitive to the light source, and high ISOs will mean that it will be more sensitive to the light source you've let in, which is perfect for in those lower light environments where there really isn't much light to let into your camera, help your camera boost up that ISO so you can get a well exposed photo. Now there is a trade off with shooting at higher ISOs and that could lead to potential noise popping up onto your photos, which appears in the form of really ugly colored grain. So make sure to know your camera's native ISO capabilities so that you don't push your camera past its limit. If you want to expand your photography and video skills, make sure to check out our extensive list of events which is located in our events page linked below. We run every event from fundamental 101 classes all the way up to more specialized advanced classes. Now if you want to continue learning more, click on the next video.